Right, what's going on guys? Welcome to like an updated championship predictions match. I know I made on I think it was like last June, I think I think it was in June when I made one, I don't know. It was either early this month or late last month. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, basically I, I made like an updated prediction. Basically I think probably where I think team probably will probably end up finishing like more realistically now since Stradvino has been in progress. And, and I had to make this video so I have reason I should just sign Jason Steele from Blackburn. So I just thought I'd put it in the video because I just can't rather make a separate video, so yeah, I think we'll just get right into it. So in the I've made like the little document on the Excel so I can like label out where I put to each team where. So I'm starting out with the bottom three and bottom I have got Burton Albion. Now the reason I put Burton there is because I think they'll probably end up doing what Rotherham do. If if they do no obviously first season obviously then pull off a great skip to steal up but but, but if, I think if they do sip up in the second season then I think last year I think the thing that it, it so so this year if they do steal up and next year I think it just won't be good but I think this year I just, I just don't think since the the championship since um the championship is, is gonna be like really hard um this year since since it's just gonna be like so tight they really really tough tough, tough comp really, really like hard more like like more like like hard to hard teams to play so I think I just don't think they'll survive and going twenty third I've got the I've got the only promote the only promote team I've got in here and that is Sheffield United. Now a lot of people actually think Sheffield United is on my table. I actually I actually want them to do well, but I just don't think they will. You know, just just like the Bulls have been promoted again. You know, I think I've, I've, I don't think I think they got relegated in two thousand eleven. I think they got relegated to the League One or twenty five. I think it was twenty eleven. They got relegated to League One. So you know, it has been quite a while since I've been champion. I think probably that Bulls coming up. I just don't think that does. I just don't think that will do as well. And and twenty second, quite surprised here. I got Bristol City. And obviously, again, obviously they've been obviously they've, they've been rocking the flag two years now in the championship. And obviously the third year going in straight away. I just don't know if they'll actually survive. I mean, like um, the players, I don't actually think that players actually probably quality enough. I mean, like they've lost Adam Matthews. I think L looking from which I, I don't I don't think such a bad I, I don't think bad player, but I think it looks, looks like we're going to keep them now. Apart from that, who 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 they really got? I mean, I know they got. I mean, like they've lost Tammy Abraham, who's a, who's massive for them getting the goals, and 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 really don't really the only sign I play probably it's probably Lee Tomlin. So I just think that, and and, and judging from what I saw in like a video just a video I've just watched, and oh my god, how did he miss that? But yeah, um, I just think from a video that I've watched by Benny Shee, the person fan, he says, and obviously comments and that people just think that the person City will go down, but because of the manager, I don't know, I, I didn't really, I didn't really read him properly. Now and um, we got the teams who who will be going to finish in the bottom, bottom half, but we'll still. And twenty first, we've got Queens Park Rangers. Now I think in the manager in Holloway, you know he has got teams promoted in the past. You know Crystal Palace and Blackpool, but I just don't think the squad's good enough to to to, to, to be a Queens promotion. I mean, I mean, let's face it. Like two years ago, fifteen, sixteen, when Palace got relegated, people think you know they they put the Bobby B in that promotion race, but you no, know, they they massively underperforming. I think they finished like fifteenth or sixteenth. And, that, and no one expect them to do that. And I think last year, I think last year they had an even worse season. And that's, I just don't know if if we'll keep on the Premier League again for a long time. And that's, I just don't think that, that they'll do well next year. And yeah, and that's, and, and it turns this and I'd not really worth some of the signs that made. And twenty years, I've got I've got the second promote, new promoted team that is bold and wondrous. You know, and a lot of people actually think that they, that it will go down. And I, I can understand why, but I think that they will just do enough because. Basically, people say you know, it's 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 near roughly the exact same squad that got relegated with two years ago, and and it could be costly for them. But I, th I think Bolton will. I think they'll do okay. I don't think they're ready for t to be challenging for like the like mid table yet. I, th I think they keep building. I think and bring bring the people out they need. I think they will have a have, have a good future in, future in the championship. Now nineteenth again another team that massively underperformed last year. Nottingham Forest. Now they almost got relegated. Nottingham Forest former European Cup. Winners almost got relegated to the third tier of English football. I mean, how? I mean, like, I know, I know, like, since they got relegated, that the clubs just like, basically got down. I mean, like, I know the world challenge in the playoffs, but it just it didn't work out. I mean, and obviously they have to, and in recent years they have to sit down the table, literally almost, almost getting relegated. And I, I just don't know. I think I think they'll probably go through the same last last year, but I think probably the Wolves probably survive a bit earlier than what they did this year. And I, I, I think that that will have a pretty bad start to the season. But I think towards the end, I think they'll probably do much better. And the eighth, we've got, we've got the final promoted team, that's Millwall. The Millwall, obviously, obviously they're managing Neil Harris, his first ever season managing in the championship. You know, he has played in the championship before. 
I've obviously been a Millwall player before, but I just I just don't think. But uh, he's an he, he's an experienced manager in the, in the championship, and I think I think Millwall do click because like again because we saw Barnsley like last year like been been winning the playoffs, and when we like 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 like, I, like it's like Barnsley like getting like um the final like playoff place on the final day and then end up winning it, which which it happened to Millwall this year. So I think Millwall could end up going. I don't, I don't think Millwall do as well as Barnsley will, but I think they'll definitely de- have, a, have a decent season. And seventeenth, again, a team that's massively underperforming, who should be having much higher. That's Cardiff. I, I, a lot of people think of Cardiff are actually trying for playoffs, but I just don't think Cardiff are good enough for the playoffs. I mean, like, um, I think in in the, in the season when they went down, they should have they they they, they should have de- 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 definitely like went through, went back up. This like their their squad was so strong enough. But I think since recent years they 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 just lost those players basically basically like um they just didn't get promoted and that is and and obviously that that that's like the massive risk with, with like teams recent coming down. So if like something for example we have our other like Casri and Lens, basically it's like just the same for like one year. But I'm pretty sure like if we don't get promoted this year, which which I don't think we won't, then they'll probably be out the door. But and because they they want they want to play for a better team to try and like keep their career going. And I think that's what the heart of the card. I think I think that you know they have to sit down the table. I think I I'm not I'm not saying because of it, that that's probably I, I think that, that could be why. And sixteenth again. I I I don't know how many teams I'm actually saying that the form, but sixteenth we've got Ipswich. You know, like, they're always they will always getting that playoff place. You know, at least fifth. Most of the time, I think most of the time it was fifth. But you know, I think since fifteen sixteen, I, I, since the, in the loss of playoffs against Norwich. They just haven't been as good as what the, what what they used to be. I know like I know like the, um, I know they got Mick McCarthy manager, and and he has spent a lot of time at Switch, But I just don't see him going anywhere. I just think that that that, that they have have an average season coming in sixteenth, and it, and it isn't good for them. They really should be challenging for that top for that, for that promotion place. I think I think they should. But like, I think again like them this year's competition. I just don't think that they will make it in time. And in fifteenth we've got Brentford. Now I now I think if if Brentford had gone up in fourteen fifteen in the first season I think they would they would immediately come from the bottom I think they would have gone straight back down again. Which, which, well, I wonder how like, like it would it would have been a fairy tale if Brentford had um gone up literally back to back motions. Obviously I think no one's done that since Southampton did it, which which which, which actually wasn't even that long ago. It was only like twenty twelve when they did it, and they and they, and they did fine. So I think Brentford I I think again. If it it, it likes like Middlesbrough, Sheffield Wednesday, Reading, of all that weren't there, I think they'd definitely be challenging for like for for this promotion spot, even the playoffs. But I think since I could probably since since I've mentioned before, but I could probably say ten teams this year, maybe even eleven. I could I can't see like in the in the risk of promotion, which is a lot, and in terms of relegation, probably probably only say like six. So yeah, the risk of promotion is massive this year. I, I just think that I think I, I, just, I think they'll struggle in the big matches, but I think that I think that I think they will do good elsewhere. And fourteenth, I've got Barnsley. Now, obviously, uh, now obviously Barnsley finished fourteenth last year. I, th- I think they'll do it again this year. You know, like should sh- 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 coming up. I think a lot of people actually tend to go straight back down since you know they want to play off. You know, like um, it, was, it was quite a buzz for them to coming up. I think they go down, but I think but we, we know they surprised everyone. They rocketed. They were doing really really well. No, I think they're like even top of like for, for for a little while in August. I know, I know that I know August is massive and massively important. I know it isn't, but I think that I think I think I think they'll I think they'll be pretty average. You know, and then Bonzi always and and then all always been that team who all just who always just survived in the, in the championship. I wonder who I'm, I I wonder who else would do that. And probably like, <clears throat> someone. But anyway, um, I think Bonds I think I think they'll just have another average season because I think that they can't push. I know I know the. They've really been in like one Premier League season, ever. But I think that they will just. I think if they keep on pushing, I think they probably will end up getting somewhere. And the thirteenth, the final, the final bottom half spot, I've gone for Birmingham City. You know, Harry Nettles manager. I think we, we all know we all know he's a good manager. We'll see at Tottenham, QPR, Portsmouth. So he's a good manager. But I just, I just think you know Birmingham again. This again massively under, massively underperformed last year. The squad is definitely not as strong enough. I think I think bringing in Craig Garner, I think I think that's a good signing. You know, though. brilliant midfield, brilliant midfielder, very very experienced in the in, in the Premier League and in the Championship actually. And I think that you know, I, I don't know, I, it, you know the strikers, you know Donaldson, like like Novak, etc. I think I think they've they've got some good players, but I think the whole squad just just, just needs to like gel in order to get promoted. 
And now I've got these six teams who will be who finish in the top offs but will just miss out on the playoffs. So in twelfth I've got Preston. No, in, in the best obviously losing manager Simon Grayson, who who who, who, who they like, do not quite well in the new person, you know they got they got in contact with like ninth list finishers in the championship which is very good for them, even though they just went up. I think I think two ninth place finishers are probably good, but I think the show I think that they probably will be pushed on the table a little bit more. I th- but I think they'll definitely do get not do not to get in, in, in into the top half, I think. And then I think I think they got decent players. You know, you know, also like lost McGeady as well. Another player. Obviously, Hugo's obviously been linked to someone. And I don't know if he will actually come or not. Be a lot. You know, like quite quite a few of their like main players being linked with moved away. And I, I just think I, I, but I think they will do enough to survive. Now, eleven players again. A lot of people think this, the team will do well this season and go promoted. I, I think they do well, but I just don't think they're going for promotion. But eleven, I got Wolves. Now, a lot of people over front are most positive since since they've run free. Or Portuguese, such as Helder Costa, or, uh, or, or, or Yota, I don't know how to say his name. I can't, I can't remember the other person. But yeah, I, I actually like Wolves, you know, I'm, I'm kind of doing a cream over them, like off camera, and you know, a really good team to use on FIFA. Really, really good team, I think. I think they will probably be able to push them, I just don't think that they will be able to, like, do enough this year to get to go up. I think next year definitely should, should definitely be considered next year. And 10th place, we've got Leeds. You know, obviously, losing Gary Monk was massive for them, you know, he, he actually did quite well, you know, Leeds. I thought I, th- I think everyone thought that Leeds, you know, they were, they were like third at one point in the, cha- in the championship, but they end up finishing seventh, which is which is really devastating for their fans. And you, you know, you know, like um, before, before the Premier League even started, like Leeds were like the best club in England at the moment, at the, at the time the Premier League was created. And you know, just 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 seem like you know, then like obviously battling relegation, but like but like you know, now that they have picked themselves up and they're like up to, up, up near the table again. I think I just think that they'll. Just, just like goals, I think that's a good season, but I just don't think they'll be ready enough to get promoted. And in ninth place, I've got Derby. Now, Derby, again, obviously, one of the teams who used to, used to always get a playoff spot, always used to always get one. And and, and, and even at the playoff final in 2014, but, you know, the Sandy beat now. I, I really wanted Derby to go through and read Premier League because, because, because you know, even even though they, they, didn't, they didn't have the best of times last time they were in the Premier League, we all know what happened. And I think that, you no, know, again, I, I, I think the squad's decent. You no, know, I think Darren Ben. You know, I think he's just losing now. He, 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 I think since since he like since he like left Villa, just hasn't been a good striker. And I think obviously like last time they lost Hendrick to Burnley, and obviously and obviously Tom and this year to um, Huddersfield. So I just don't know if um, if Derby will will be battling for for the playoffs, but it's like uh, that's good. But I think they do okay. And the A-plus have got my boy Sunderland. Now a lot of people now now Ben H D who I was talking about earlier, he had to think of finish fifteen for that first for that thing's pretty mental. I'm 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 not being bad I I just think that fifteen's way too low for us. I think we will definitely get top half. But but not playoffs. So like so, so like in, in the like seventh to twelfth zone where I've put us. But I, I, I think a lot of people with all your bias like um you're saying that we we're still putting in a good position in eighth. Well well I think I think so, you know, I think I think we'll I think we'll probably just do an average day, I think. You know, like um obviously, obviously like the like, um, not many people think we'll go up. And obviously, and obviously, then you you've, you've got those like typical Newcastle fans who think we'll get relegated again, which which we'll, but like I don't think we'll get relegated league one. If we do, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think, I don't think I'll do it like a forfeit if we get relegated league one, because 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 I'm an idiot. So I just don't think that we will get relegated league one. But I think you know, Grayson, you're know, Grayson, very good manager. I've I've seen, you know, um, I think I've I think Tansy Boyne and DC you know Galloway has been great. Browning's an absolute tank at the back. Really, really good signing from him. Um, but McGeady hasn't even who hasn't, well, who hasn't even seen yet. So I wonder what he's of. James Vaughan, very good striker, but he, he, he's, a, he's a bit slow off the mark. But I think he will start scoring. You know, obviously again, like, um, we've just signed Jason Steele from Blackburn. Obviously, Lewis Graben look, look, looks, looks like that he'll be coming as well very soon. Oh, that was a good, that was a, that was a decent chance. But I think obviously, obviously Lewis Graben come. I think he will be dupe. Well, and I think I think we'll I've, I think we'll have an okay season. Not as good promotion, but I think, I, 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 I think, I think again, I think we'll just do Norwich. I think of Norwich, they're in seventh place. I think, mostly, I think they'll just miss out on the playoff spot, which, which you know, they, they're not as good. Like, I, I think Norwich are very good, very good team, but for, for, to, to be to be made on a um, Champions League spot. But I just don't think they cut it. I mean, they come, obviously like um, they got and the, the new manager, which which used to be the old Bruce Dortmund. I think back up coach, it's either him or the Wolves manager who did it. I think Norwich. I think they should definitely be challenging for that playoff place. But I don't know. I think they'll just miss out for this team here. It was, it was either team. It was either this team 
what well, uh, 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 Norwich or this team we're about to see, it. and that's that's the that's first playoff team. Like like now, I'm just gonna read up the four teams I think are gonna play us. And six players got um just the second reason like recent relegated team that was in Hull. Now and then, I really want to take Hull in like in like ninth because I I I've done. I'm just not sure about Hull, but I, I'm just thinking that like, again. That's probably just me just being with me colleague and us. I think Hull, I think that I think they will have a decent season. I don't think they'll have a good one. As of two years ago, we know when they finished fourth. I think they should. Have, I think they they should definitely have like a better season when I, when I put them out. I think that honest opinion. As I just, as I just, that's what I think Hull will be. I'm not sure who like the top eleven teams in this list. I got now all used to be in the Premier League. Not even that long ago. I think I think long ago was probably Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, and that now now does does we does she apparently be yeah. Um, again I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk again, but I just think, oh, I I I I want a Russian manager, very the sense that it is likely that 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 arguing very foreign, looks like, obviously like um the sense like a Czech defender today from Sparta Prague, and what the hell that penalty, but yeah um I I think all you know I I think I think it will comfortably. Do well and fifth place I got Fulham. You know, obviously like um, they obviously like got lost. Obviously like lost in the playoffs last year due to Reading, who uh, who will be announcing very soon. But I think Fulham, you know, they are like like um, first season. It looked it actually looked like they, they could get relegated to League One, which, which I think would be a massive shock. And this 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 panic got so bad. But yeah, um, I think that whole. I mean Fulham. I think they should have. I think I think they should have a better season playoff. But I don't think that they will be team to. Get promoted because of the um the team the team that I've promoted will be in the next couple of teams. So in fourth place, I've got who was just was speaking about that's Reading. The Reading in the in the obviously probably heartbreaking for the national. You know, getting the playoff final, it's also but then losing at loot on penalties would literally like cannot be worse with the lose the playoff final than on penalties. And you know, it's just it's just really unlucky for Reading. You know, I think. I, th- I just think that they should be doing much better, and I, I, I think they'll have a very good season. I just don't think that they will. Um, I, I just don't think that that they will um, get promoted. So yeah, and that's clue. So, so the team who had third, I think, will get promoted. So yeah. So so if I do, the, the team who I think to, to the first to, to the first minute, I think you guys probably can get guess who are probably put in these spots. So the team in third place, I've got. I think we've got for the players will be Aston Villa, who are on here right now. I think I think Aston. I think they will go up. I think last year was a blip, you know. You know, obviously, like obviously, like team material, you know, I've, I've, you got West Brom promoted. But I think I think Steve Bruce, you know, he has got he's gotten Hull promoted. You got I think I think got Birmingham promoted. I think I think he has got Wigan promoted as well. So yeah, so yeah, he, 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 he has got quite a few teams promoted from the championship. I think. Um, I, I think Aston will have a good campaign, but I think Lewis Smith on on that old Max spot. And yeah. And now I think I think you guys probably know who who top two is. So in second place, the team who has just missed out on on the title is Sheffield Wednesday. Now I actually really like Sheffield Wednesday. I think I think the team's very very good. Should, should I think I think I definitely like contenders to like to get up on promotion. I think I hope they should because I'm watching the playoff final against Hull. That they Sheffield Wednesday losing. I I like I I wasn't even crying. I, I was like close to crying. I was really really sad. I, I was really like sad for like for like um the Sheffield Wednesday fans because. They definitely deserve promotion. I think the team they've got now, very very good team, and I think they will. Uh, and I think I think they should. Go, I think they will go up. And now obviously guys, I think I know who will be in the championship. And that is Middlesbrough. Now Middlesbrough, know they got Gary Mugg's manager, very very good manager. I said, you know, it, it's his third club. What what I don't think to go about, but you know, the team is pretty, pretty, much, pretty much the exact same they had last year. And you know, I, I, I think Middlesbrough, I think they're unlucky to get relegated. In my opinion, I think they had a they had a really decent start. I think towards the end, it, it's fair. I think, but I think this year. I think they will do really really well. I think they'll probably walk. I want I wanted the walk. I wanted that they walk the league, but I do I do, I do think that they'll do very well in, in the championship this season. I don't know that. I hope you, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was quite long. If you did, be that's much like button. Also subscribe if you're new because that'll make it feel good. And you're never sent I'll see my Premier League predictions. My updated Premier League predictions will be, will be coming out soon. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.